How to make a sock form. Hi, I'm Mike. You might also know me as Bohemian with Boots by Bohemian.com. Please support me by hitting like, share, and subscribing. This video serves two purposes. The first purpose is you have asked me to make you a pair of custom historical footwear and I've asked you for the sock form in addition to the measurements and tracings. I'll share a link for that video below. Second purpose is you're following me on Shop Night, my YouTube channel, and you need a sock form to generate, create, or make a pattern for a boot or shoe that we're all making together there on Shop Night. Here's what you need. You're going to need a friend to help tape up your foot. And no, you can't do it alone. A marker of some kind. Now you can use regular old duct tape, you can use regular old masking tape, and you can use regular old painter's tape. And for the example today, I'll be using painter's tape. So follow along, it's really simple. And the last step is the most important, which is where you draw some lines and do some cutting. So stay tuned for that part, you don't wanna miss it. So I'm gonna take scissors to this sock and go ahead and pick up your foot. I'm going to take scissors to the sock and I'm going to cut it off of uh, off of the customer or um, and so use a sock that you don't mind shipping me and has been cut and um, you don't mind throwing away but make sure it doesn't have holes in it and make sure that it's uh, been washed because I'll be touching it a bunch please wash washed sock um, now I prepared a bunch of tape early on to make this go easy. Now am I crunching your toes at any point? Yeah. Would you put your pressure on your fifth foot please? So I'm gonna start pulling that in with smaller pieces of tape. Pick up your foot for me. Am I crunching your toes? Yeah. So it does need to be all neat and clean, but I do need um, top and bottom all the way around. Trap your foot normally. Put a little bit of weight on it. No, thanks, that, that's great. I was worried I had done that, so. I just want your foot to be relaxed, so just have your weight on it. Now, at any point have I made this uncomfortable? No. Okay. Pick up your foot, I'm gonna do a bunch of bottoms. So don't worry about this being a, a super neat process. I, uh, I'll be able to, to shape all this later on. Um, and I like to run my tape in weird angles and I like to have multiple layers of tape in all the positions, not just like one layer, but lots and lots of layers of tape um, because it's gonna be helpful what I'm going to do with it in the patterning process when you send it to me for your custom pair of boots or shoes where I've required this process of the sock. Um, and to be honest, it's mostly uh, Viking turn shoes and medieval turn shoes that I'll ask for this information. Um, pole lanes, fighting shoes, uh, side lace boots, um, you know, and other uh, such stuff that I, I uh, make for you. So this is the process. Um, I'm gonna continue to make layer after layer where I see it crinkling. And I'm gonna make sure I get the bottom a little bit better than I have. Uh, so we'll cut right here and get back to you in just a second, folks. So I've applied multiple layers of tape. Um, if he wanted to take this off right now, he can't. We have to cut it off of him and we're gonna be careful about that. So now I'm gonna show you, um, now that the tape is flipped, uh, taped up and the bottom has a lot of tape on it, I'm gonna show you some things I need. First thing I need is a line with your Sharpie that where you just lay your Sharpie across the floor and you just draw me a line all the way around the foot. foot. Now, I'll be able to interpret that. Um, 
so it's not such a big deal if, you, if it's sloppy or you miss a part because the foot's coming off the table a little bit or the floor, but that's all I need. When it comes to drawing lines, I will tell you what I need for lines when we're talking about your custom footwear. So let's assume I'm making a Noseberg boot. Well, it's a front split boot. And I would ask you to draw a line like this down the front so that it's right over this tendon. And that's the line I would need to be able to um, make that shoe. So when you cut, you would just cut a line from the top of the sock here. Cut with your scissors, being careful all the way down to here. And it doesn't matter if you overcut or, or anything like that. I'll be able to interpret the pattern as I need, and then you'll be able to get out of this taped sock. I'm gonna show you another boot that I might, you might ask for. You might ask for a side laced medieval boot. You would just put a line right over the ankle bone and down. Now notice I made that sloppy and curvy. I did that so that you know it's not really important to get it right. I'll be able to fix all of this in when I'm producing your boot. But here's the ankle bone, and the line should have gone near it or over it. So once again, you will cut with your scissors all the way down to here and peel off the sock. If you're following my Shop Night YouTube channel, you have everything you need. So go back and refer to the episode that sent you here. For my custom historical footwear customers, you'll need a priority mailbox. You'll need both your right and left foot tracings, and you're going to need your sock with the tape left on it, and put it in a box, and make sure you include your contact information inside the box, and mail it to me. I really look forward to making something really special for you and with you. Please check out my YouTube channel, Shot Night, where I make a gift for a deserving person in our community in one or two evenings using scrap from around my shop. And please visit my website of historical footwear and Viking coolness, bootsbybohemian.com. Thank you so much.